Hi, and welcome to our session today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Cara Edwards, and I'm a Vis uh, Vice President of Digital Solutions in North America. And today, I'm going to be showing you our Agile solution to Lunar Start. So for anyone who is unfamiliar with Toluna, we used to be known in the industry as a panel provider, but over the last 10 years, we've really evolved into a research technology business. And we've built an ecosystem around our panel that allows businesses to not only speak to a variety of consumers from around the globe, but also script surveys more efficiently to help reach those answers more quickly and deliver the data from all of those audiences in real time analysis. The best thing about our proprietary solution called to Luna Start is that all of that is available in one place, which makes things significantly more efficient and agile for our users. So whenever you need to find a winning concept, test iterative versions of a pack design, or quickly get an answer back to a stakeholder question, all of that can be built, executed, launched, and analyzed into Luna Start, which really does deliver an agile research program. So let's get on to Toluna Start and onto the technology which you're all here to see today. What you can see on screen right now is our Toluna Start main dashboard. It is end to end, so I'm actually going to take you through what it looks like when we need to start getting answers to those um, critical research business questions. And I'm going to show you the different ways that you can start to um, be more agile in your research program. So first things first, what you can see on screen is I've got some recent projects along the top. And this allows me to really easily edit any questionnaire that I've launched, uh, that I'm in the process of building. And I can also look at that real-time report that I mentioned. So everything is really easily available to me as a user. But if I wanted to look at some projects that I've executed from longer ago, we have that option available within this All Projects tab, which you can see along the top here. This All Projects tab not only allows me to look at all of the projects that I've executed from my research plan, but we also have a feature in here called Enterprise Sharing. And that actually allows you to look at what other people from within your team have executed. And that really means that you have greater efficiencies when you're working more collaboratively with your team because you're not having to um, kind of recreate different projects every single time. You can also be more collaborative in the research that you're doing. So you can actually work on the same project. You can do analysis across the same project, across different team members. So that really does help with agile research because we're delivering cost efficiencies and more collaborative research. It also means there's a lot of cost efficiencies as well, because you don't have to relaunch a really similar project every single time from different team members if the data is already available within Toluna Start. But it also reduces some paperwork from the billing process as well, which we all definitely want more of. But speaking of efficiencies, um, within this All Projects tab as well, there is also a couple of options that is really, really powerful when we're looking at agile research. And that's the ability to duplicate projects and also build templates. So the ability to duplicate projects really easily means that you can create frameworks and create um, questionnaires very, very quickly once you've done the first work, built the survey in the first time. Being able to duplicate these projects means that the framework of the same research questions that you're asking is just copied over the same time, as well as the audience targeting that you want to speak to as well. So it's all about efficiencies and making that process easier for you and less repetitive. And when it comes to building templates, something that we do really frequently in Toluna is that we can actually build custom templates for you and for your teams. So if you have a very specific way of doing concept testing, for example, we can actually build a concept test template that is fully customized for your business. And you have the ability to just use that template for all of your concept testing moving forward, for example. So these are the types of things that really make us define agile research. It really helps with efficiencies and flexibility of the research projects you need to execute. Let's move on to if we need to start from scratch. So we don't want to look at previous projects or look at an existing research um, piece that you've already executed. We need to start from scratch. And there's a couple of different ways that we can actually do that within Toluna Start. You can either choose from one of our solutions, which I'm hovering over right now, 
or you can create a custom survey. So first things first, when you choose from one of our solutions, as I scroll down on the main dashboard, you can actually see that we have a range of different research methodologies built into these little boxes on the main screen. These are incredibly powerful boxes because what it actually gives you access to is a pre-scripted questionnaire that is based on this research methodology. So rather than you having to script surveys from scratch every single time for any of these methodologies, you can use our template. But the really cool thing about these templates are is they are fully editable. So not only does it mean that you can add screening questions, you can also add your own custom KPI metrics as you need to. So you've got the benefit of a industry approved methodology and a template within there, but you can still edit it to the needs and the um, answers that you need question. Yeah, answers that you need <laughs> within the, the solution. And these methodologies are actually written and approved by our in-house award-winning research team. So you're getting access and uh, to those approved research templates within a really easy to use interface and a really accessible um, area. All of the results from these pre uh, pre-built solutions, these automated templates, also deliver the data in real-time dashboards, which I'm going to come on to show you in a second. But that's another really easy way of getting access to the insights in a more agile framework. The other thing I mentioned that we can do when we're starting from scratch is actually by creating a custom survey. So these custom surveys give you the full flexibility to ask any question that you need to be answered. So this could be either checking an instance rate, checking penetration, for example. It can also be custom questions that your stakeholder has asked you that you need to get the answers to. So you have that full flexibility to not only run the traditional research methodologies within Taluna Start, but also the more agile uh, questions that don't fit nicely into any research methodologies, existing methodologies. And you can ping pong and flex between all of these different solutions really, really easily within Taluna Start. And as always, everything is end to end. So with that, whichever solution you're going to, you have direct access to the Taluna Global Panel and all of the data is delivered in real time um, analysis uh, platforms. So on that note, I'm going to show you um, what it looks like when you do need to start from something from scratch. And for the purposes of today, I'm actually going to be testing a new concept from um, PepsiCo, um, their Pepsi Nitro range. Um, all information that I've got here is available within the public domain, but this is purely for demonstrative purposes. So once I've decided I need to test my two different ideas that I've got here, which, um, which one is going to be most successful and deliver the, best, um, uh, deliver the best in market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create and I'm going to select how I want to start building my survey. I can either click the concept testing because I'd like to test which concept test, which concept is going to be um, most beneficial within the market, or I can create a custom survey. But when I come across to this tab, you can actually see the breadcrumb that I'm going to follow regardless of which option that I launch. And that's my page just reloading. Uh, so in the top right hand side, you can see that breadcrumb within here. Um, this breadcrumb is really, really simple. And it again goes to that ability of agile um, research. So giving you the option to be very speedy when you're launching these different research methodologies. So I've come straight onto the target page here. And this target page is really where we start to dive into who do you want to speak to? So this is that direct panel integration into Taluna Start. So the Taluna panel that is integrated within Taluna Start um, allows you to access uh, 40 million respondents from across 70 markets. So this is really, really global and it allows you to um, launch lots of different projects within different regions. So you can really start to collect data from a global perspective. Um, because the panel is integrated, it means that there's no redirects, there's no limitation on the number of audiences or how you reach those audiences. This target page gives you full flexibility to speak to your audience in a really streamlined approach. 
So everything that you can see on the left hand side is ways that I can reach my audience. So I've already identified that I'd like to send this to US and the English speaking panel. And you can then see at the bottom of the screen, I've got a variety of different ways that I can reach those audiences in the US panel. I can either reach them on their demographic points, and we have a range of different demographics that are available and built in within Taluna. But we also have in-depth profiles as well. And this is really um, great if you want to target people based on, um, for example, where do they do their grocery shopping? Or um, are they the um, main grocery shopper, for example? Those are just two examples that are used a lot by our CPG clients, but we can do a huge amount of different targeting within here, um, including financial targeting and also technology and media targeting as well. This profiling area really allows for and delivers two key agile benefits. The first one is that it delivers faster field work timings. So it means that you can say exactly who you want to speak to, and you can see on the right hand side of the screen, I've already built an example of my quotas on age here. So I can see exactly who I would like to speak to on each age bracket. But it also delivers efficiencies in terms of your control and how you can really clearly see what audiences you're going to be able to reach, what timings and also the cost as well. And that real time feasibility delivers the better controls. You know, you can be more agile in your research and um, communicate better within your um, organization as well. On the right hand side, you can see that I've already built my um, age quotas within here, and I've already specified what the instance rate is going to be and how many completes I would like to test per stimulus. Because in this example, I'm going to be testing two concepts for the Pepsi Nitro range. I can build up these quotas in more depth if I want to. And I also have the ability to save this quota. And this is really, really important if you are doing a lot of research that goes to very similar types of audiences. So whether that's NAP rep quotas, whether that is a specific audience or people have um, shop at or are aware of a certain brand, for example, or exhibit a certain behavior, you can save these quotas and then you have your own custom library of all of these audiences that you need to speak to. You don't then have to go in and put the specific, the specific percentages every single time. Um, if you don't, uh, if you don't want to, we can just save the quota. You can save the quota, and it belongs in your library. So that's again a really incredible way of speeding up the time to insights. Really, really true agile research. Once I've completed my targeting page, so I've decided who I would like to speak to. The next step that I'm going to jump into is the questionnaire area. And this is the survey scripting part of the platform that allows you to do some really, really complex um, scripting questionnaires, but in a really easy to use interface. Now, you can already see that I've got a scripting uh, a questionnaire built in here. So I'm actually going to come across to this tab so you can see what it looks like once you're actually building it yourself. When it comes to agile research, Agile means not only being able to collect the data quickly, but it's also about the usability. What's your user experience? And we wanted to make scripting such an easy user experience that it really does help feed into that wider picture of Agile research and deliver against Agile research metrics. So this scripting area it allows you to do very complex things in a very fast and agile way. We do have really standard question types that you would expect when it comes to any scripting platform. So we have single choice, multiple choice, for example, open end grid questions, and so on and so forth. But we also have a lot of really complex question types as well. So an easy way to do heat maps, for example. And we even have an advanced library of question types that allows you to dive into even more um, uh, complex question um, question types. So things such as Van Westendorp pricing, comparisons, and even implicit testing. So that advanced library really does give you a lot more access to different question types. Um, we also have the ability to save questions. So I mentioned before about being able to duplicate questionnaires and being able to react very quickly to when um, similar question types come up. 
we can save question types within here as well. So rather than duplicating an entire project, you can actually just import specific questions. And that's really important if you are doing some more of the complex questionnaire designs that you can just save them and import them into every single questionnaire as you need to. I mentioned a lot about the complex questionnaire, but for anyone who is looking to do more agile, simple, quick research, we can definitely support that within Taluna Start as well. And everything is built to be in a very agile program and be able to support you with all of your different um, research needs. On that note, I'm gonna talk a little bit right now about our flexible service model. So we do have a fantastic customer success team within Toluna, and they're here to help you not only on the onboarding and the implementation phase of getting Toluna Start into your business, but also throughout the relationship. So the, our customer success team are gonna be there to support with training new people, doing refresher sessions, and also showing tips and tricks about how other clients are making the most and making the use of to Luna Start and Agile Research. We'll also give training on when there's new updates and give you a full um, uh, kind of roadmap view of what's coming within um, to Luna Start. So you have full overviews of, of what exciting adventures are happening next at Toluna and how we're continuing to future-proof our technology. We can also support in other ways as well. So whether that is us supporting on some of the scripting platform, uh, scripting elements, for example, on more of the complex questionnaires, we can support on that. And we can also look after the analysis as well. So we have an internal research team that can support on the more traditional um, uh, deliverables, for example. So we really pride ourselves at Toledo that we can really flex and work with you and the support that you need as you need it throughout our partnership and throughout our, um, our uh, relationship as, um, tech as a tech provider. So that's the actual building of getting answers from, um, from Toluna Start. So I've already decided who I would like to speak to from the Toluna panel, I've already targeted them. And now I've built my questionnaire, or I've built my survey that needs to go out. So once I've approved, I've tested it, and I select proceed to launch, it ta takes me directly to the launch page, and I can launch it, and it will start to bring in data in real time. So it's incredibly fast for you as a user in order to start doing these projects in a very DIY framework, or even a DIT, so do it together framework. Once you've launched it, you might be wondering, Cara, this is all great, but how do I actually start to look at the data? Where do I start to create and craft the insights and the story that the data is um, delivering? Well, we actually deliver the data in a couple of different ways, and I'm gonna show you that now. So when I come over to this tab, you will see that this is a really interactive dashboard that we deliver for all of the automated solutions. You'll remember at the start, I said that the benefits of using the automated solutions is not only the questionnaire pre-scripted for you, but still flexible, but also the dashboard and the reporting side of things is very interactive and helps speed up the time to insights. And that's this is how we deliver the insights to those automated solutions. So this is a fully interactive dashboard and it allows me to see in a really simple and clear way side-by-side -side analysis on the two concepts that I tested here. And again, this is just for demonstrative purposes today. You can actually see that on the left-hand side, I've got all of the KPI metrics that I selected from within the build, so I really easily could toggle on and off each of these metrics. And I've also customized it a little bit as well. So I actually did this as a um, purchase intent um, question because I have the price available, but I can turn that on and off as well as being able to switch on and off things such as heat maps and text highlighters really, really easily. What you'll also see within this main dashboard is that we have norms built in. So it will automatically look at competitors, uh, competitive um, uh, concepts from within a similar category and see how you're performing, how your concept is performing. And that's a really good indicator of, is this concept going to be really innovative and different within the marketplace? And does it measure up against um, others within the category? 
This dashboard does allow me to do side-by-side -side analysis, but I can also deep dive into individual responses and individual concepts as well to get even greater detail of information. But one really cool thing that uh, the platform will automatically do as well is if I come over to this claims and believability tab, it will also show me where there are statistically significant differences in the data as well. So these are some of the claims that I put into the questionnaire and you can see that there is a statistically significant difference in the data on the statement on the claim of smooth, creamy and delicious. And it automatically flags that to me. So this is all about being able to highlight and flag differences to you really easily within the data to help reduce your time to insight. Within this dashboard, I can also have a look at the individual groups as well. So if there is a particular core audience that I need to look at, I can actually filter this entire report based on certain audiences. Um, and that allows me to do compare and comparison according to who my key audience, who my core segment that I think is going to purchase this um, is going to deliver against and how the metrics change compared to general population or my targeted population versus my core audience, should I need to. So this is a really great way of looking at data in a very top level view. It's very digestible and you can share this with your stakeholders, with others within the team really, really easily just by sharing this URL. And no one needs to have an access to Tulum Start to access this um, URL. This is totally accessible by everyone. But if you want to actually look into the data in a little bit more detail, so actually deep dive into the data and start to craft even more narrative, even more stories, we have another way of delivering the data to you. And if I click on this little an analytics button, and I've already got one prepared here, this actually allows me to go into so much more detail into the um, questionnaire. And this view of the analytics, this is delivered across every single solution that you select within Taluna Start. So whether you select a custom survey or one of our automated solutions, this available, this analysis is available throughout the um, Taluna Start environment. And this analytics tool is really, really cool. And it is a really powerful way of being able to dive into the data in a very agile way. In its core capabilities, core deliverables, it is a data visualization tool. And I'll show you an example of the way that it really looks at data and shows it in really um, fun and digestible ways. But you might be noticing that actually, I've got some demographic points here that are listed by Roman numerals um, and in sort of a yellowy color. Well, these are actually data points that we deliver across every single survey. And this goes back to that integration of panel within the platform. Because we know exactly who our Taluna consumers are, because we know exactly what demographic um, uh, points that they have against them, we deliver that data to you and to all of our reports as standard. And that's a really, a really big benefit because it not only means that you have all of this data delivered to you across every single report, so it's very standardized, it also means that you don't necessarily have to ask the questions in the survey yourself, which definitely delivers some cost efficiencies. So I mentioned that it's a um, data visualization tool. And you can see that when I've clicked on my age demographic here, I can view the data in a variety of different ways. I can look at it in a pie chart, in bars, or I can just look at the raw data if I want. So these are all the demographic questions, but if I want to dive into a little bit more in terms of the survey data specifically, when I click on this hide demographic questions, it actually comes up and shows me all of the questions that were within my survey. And this is where we can start to get that real detailed insights and analysis and start to see where's the story that we need to craft. So if I come down to uh, this question here, which is asking all about um, would I be interested in purchasing this product in the future? You can see that I can, again, look at the data in a variety of ways, and it's really simple to see um, and sort the data accordingly. But when I come to the following question, you'll actually see that I've started to do some of that analysis to help um, dive into um, the data and see where there are differences within different age groups in this example. 
So within here, I've got my total base size on the left in terms of how many um, products would the um, respondent purchase. And I've added a cross break, a really simple cross break here in terms of age breaks. And that allows me to see side by side, where does the data differ within here? I can do that really easily as a cross break just by adding the little cross button here. But that's another really important thing about why we deliver all of the demographic points to you as standard across every single report, because it does allow you to create these really um, simple cross breaks, but it delivers really in, uh, interesting and um, insightful learnings on your data. You might also notice that on the far right hand side, I've also created a special group of a specific target. So we call this a subpopulation within Toluna Analytics, but this allows you to actually target and build a specific group and look at it um, as a target audience. So in this case, I've said that my core audience that I would like to look at is females aged 35 to 54, and it's looking at that data individually. So I can still have a look at how it compares to the main, um, the main data set, but I can also look at it just in its own universe as well. There is tons and tons of other things that we can do within this analytics tool. It really is an incredibly powerful tool that helps you analyze and look at data in a more agile way. And when I click on this Analyze tab along the top, you can see an example of some of the more complex things that we can do within here. And again, we do provide full training from our customer support team on every single element. So whether you're um, new to the Insights world or you're a veteran just like me, we can support you on, no matter what your um, appetite for research and um, ana analytics is. The final thing that I wanted to show you, because I know I'm coming up for time here, is how do we get the data out of here? Having everything available within Toluna Start, within an end-to-end -end consumer insights platform and customer intelligence platform is really powerful, but how do you share it with other people? And we have this export tab just here, which gives us a variety of different ways that we can actually get, take the data out of this solution. So we can either download the raw data really, really easily in a variety of ways, or we can download the report as well. And this report is exportable either in PowerPoint and Excel. But the really important thing about these two exports is that you can fully edit both of these um, uh, ex exports within the program. So within PowerPoint, you can change the look and feel of all of the charts should you want to. And the data is even exported within here. The same with the Excel, everything is exported. So it allows you to export the data and take the analysis even further. Nothing is static. We really want to encourage you to do everything that you need with this data. So thank you so much for your time today. That's what I'm going to leave you with because we're coming up to time together. But if you do have any questions at all, I'd be delighted to answer them. You can reach me using the QR code. You can either send me an email or send me a message on LinkedIn. Everything is accessible by scanning the uh, QR code. So thank you so much for your time and I look forward to hearing from you.